Hi, my little Jasmine. We are live. Say good morning to everybody. <laughs> Say good morning. Say hello. Say happy Saturday. Say a little bit clearer. Say happy Saturday. What are we making today? Mm -hmm. Wait, let me ask you something. Mm -hmm. Do you have your fat pants ready? Do you have your fat pants ready? Because what does it say? Get your fat pants ready. Do you have your fat pants ready? All right, y'all. We're going to do some cooking. All right, have a seat. Jay's going to see who's all coming in. We got JC fishing in the house. We got burning rubber garage. What's up, brother? All right. Um, sorry. Life got kind of in the way. I woke up a little late. Uh, we're, I didn't get home until about like 8 p.m. yesterday. And, um, yeah, <laughs> after a couple movies and stuff like that, uh, ended up being like 2 o'clock in the morning, so a little late of a stream today, but uh, we're still going to get it in. We're going to make some breakfast. So, what I had planned, I seen like a country, what did I call it? A country skillet. That's what it's called, country skillet. It's basically uh, some potatoes and sausage and all kinds of good stuff all mixed together and it's just baked and stuff. So, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to make my own version of that and I'm actually going to cut a little piece out of it and we'll put in an egg McMuffin or not McMuffin, an egg muffin and we're going to make a breakfast sandwich out of it. It's going to be an overload breakfast sandwich. Let's see who all else up in here. We got Marion. We got uh, Chad from Wilkins Outdoors Adventures. We got Pickles Barbecue. We got Kentucky Catman. Good morning Tina. Welcome to my live stream. Alright folks. So, uh, to start this off, I'm going to start off with some potatoes. Get my trusty old trash can over here. I'm going to wash my hands. You ready for this, my love? Mm -hmm. Welcome, Jasmine, to the live stream, my little daughter. How old are you, Jasmine? Mm -hmm. Eighteen. You're five? Well, tell the, tell the camera. <laughs> You're five, huh? Are you hungry? Mm -hmm. Do you have your fat pants ready? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Alright, before all else, as a ritual, we gotta bless this live stream with some coffee. I already got water in there, I just need to put some coffee in there. As you can see, I got everything set up here. Uh, Marion, uh, down at the channel, Robert Roy, has actually gave me inspiration on to go back to where my roots of cooking came from. Now my true roots actually came from my mom, but there was a point in time where restaurant business had my mind thinking crazy. And I used to come out with some crazy, crazy food ideas. And trust me, all week I have been thinking of some weird, not weird, just crazy delicious uh, recipes. Um, I, I really have a lot of things going on in, in works of that. Um, hopefully pretty soon it's going to cool down and you know it won't be 110 with 30 percent humidity outside so hopefully I can get out on the grill uh, I got some big plans for some burgers uh, really delicious I made I made some of these burgers before and they really really came out really good uh, definitely I hope you guys uh, enjoy them and try them because uh, yeah some of these burgers were banging um, that I just bought another uh, air fryer, which is a bigger one. I bought a really, really big air fryer, so I'll be pumping out a lot of air fryer videos, um, just just for the sake of you know they're really, really easy to use. And uh, I don't know, I'm gonna just test it. I'm gonna put them to the use. Uh, I'm gonna see if I can make some stuff out of it. Uh, so yeah, expect those. And I just ordered a sous vide. Now, I haven't used the sous vide since I was working in the restaurant business. Um, definitely different how you would use them here at home or what you see on YouTube. Sous vides, when I use them in, sous in restaurants, basically they would just kind of cook meat and, uh, you know, already pre seasoned and everything, and they would just get them hot. And, you know, it was just an easy way to get the meat cooked. Um, Sometimes they were already pre the meat was already pre cooked, so we just threw them in there just just to heat up the meat, and it prevented us having to you know throw them on the griddle or, or the grill or whatever. Uh, so yeah, 
expect some videos of that. Uh, let me see who else is all up in the chat. We got Mike64, good morning. We got Ferdy from 760 Bash Racing. What's up, brother? Yes, you know what? Uh, live Saturday live stream is in effect every Saturday morning. Um, I had a couple hiccups uh, past couple weeks, but uh, we are back on schedule. We got Gordon Ramsey. We got Cookie with James. Good morning, James. Good morning, Gordita. And we got John Salisbury. Hey, good morning, John. How you doing? So, uh, yeah. Yeah, it's actually been a crazy couple weeks. Tomorrow I'm actually dropping the Cal the first video for the California meetup. Uh, it was a great weekend. Uh, I really do appreciate CJ uh, inviting us over, and uh, we, we made a great, really great great weekend out of it. Um, just like the California meet part, I think I probably have maybe I could probably put that in three videos. I'm not sure if I'm gonna bore you guys with all that stuff, but. Uh, you know, I'm gonna put a couple videos out there. We did make a really nice Blackstone um, recipe. Um, well, I mean, Marion was on the Blackstone quite a bit that weekend, but uh, yeah, we actually recorded uh, a, a solo video, and, and it felt weird because you know I haven't been on a griddle in probably eight to nine years. So yeah, it definitely brought back memories. It, it brought back you know. That, that that feel you know that that catering that that restaurant feel so I, I mean the only thing is I wasn't being rushed so it was it was it was an awesome experience you know uh, I'm glad Marion uh, kind of you know got me into it again and uh, I might be buying a Blackstone I really don't know yet uh, I already made some pretty heavy purchases this uh, past couple weeks so uh, I think I'm gonna hold off on the Blackstone for just the meantime but uh, I will definitely be getting one for sure. So, you got anything to say, my little love? Here's a pretty mess over here. Come see. Let's see who else we got here. Flow Yak Live. Good morning, my friend. Call it Extreme Food Series. <laughs> nah, you know what? Uh, it's going to be uh, diner food. Di you know, I'm a big uh, Marion. I'm a big fan of uh, diners, drivers, and dives. Uh, for years, I'm talking about years. Uh, I watched that and a lot of the things that I would watch and say this is the thing I, I love about that show is because it was their own way it was original it was made from scratch it was delicious on top of everything and it was just crazy food um, yeah so, so so a lot of like my influences came from that show and that's that's a lot of the recipes that I've, I made for like the created for a menu came from influences of uh, diners, drivings, and dives. So, uh, I don't know, I'm not, I don't know what I'm gonna call this, uh, these series of uh, videos, you know. Uh, they're gonna be, some are gonna be grilling, some are gonna be cooking inside the kitchen. Um, yeah, def I, I definitely have some plans for a nice California burrito. Uh, I actually been, I thought about that a long time ago, but I actually really thinking about it, it's going to be a massive burrito. Uh, I'm working with a tortilla company right now to see if they, it, locally, uh, we, here where I live, I actually have a, a tortilla company in my city. So I contact, I, I reached out to them and uh, I wanna see if they can uh, provide me some 18 inch tortilla, flour tortillas. So I'm, I'm talking about tortillas that are like that big. So just imagine the burritos I'm gonna make out of it. So. Uh, hopefully that comes soon, and uh, we're definitely gonna put it on video and make it happen. You can't drink coffee. I was gonna give you some coffee. <laughs> Let's see. We got cooking with CJ. Good morning, CJ. Love that show. Yeah, I, I love that show too, John. Let's see. Same old peeps up in here. You know, you guys are all some beautiful people. Jazzy, you want some chocolate milk, my love? All right. Get some chocolate milk. Where is the chocolate milk, Jasmine? Alright folks, uh, as soon as the coffee's done, we're gonna get to cooking. I'm gonna give my daughter some chocolate milk really fast. I need a spoon, my love. Alright, so for our filling for the 
muffin sandwich, uh, we're gonna be having some potato, some sausage, and then some eggs. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be putting it in a cast iron skillet uh, with a lid. And uh, once I get the potato and sausages pretty much done, I'm gonna scramble up the eggs and I'm gonna go ahead and uh, layer it in there. I'm gonna let that cook. And once the egg's done, I'm gonna put, I'm gonna top it with some cheese. And then from there, we're gonna build our sandwich, so. No further ado, my love. Let's do this. Yeah, yeah. Okay, let me get you a cup, so that, that way Daddy can start cooking, my love. Yeah, work, work has been pretty busy. <laughs> I, uh, I had a pretty long day yesterday. Um, I didn't get home till like about almost eight o'clock. And uh, I was driving from uh, Riverside County because we have a couple. I, I work. For, I, I work technical support for for a healthcare organization. So we have a couple clinics um, in the in the Riverside County. And uh, yeah, I had to go dismantle um, basically a small pharmacy. Uh, they're going to be doing some construction, so I had to go move all the computers, remove them all. Uh, I had to go put everything away. Um, I had to remove a bunch of cables and all kinds of stuff. So I didn't get out of there till honestly, like 6.30. And I still had to drive back home. Hey, my love. Jason, let me know what you think. It's good? Thumbs up? We'll tell everybody on, on the camera. Tell them thumbs up. All right, my coffee's ready. Let's see, should we do the, the, the normal creamer? Yeah, let's do a normal creamer, my dad. It feels weird being uh, back in the kitchen. <laughs> um, I think uh, it was two weeks ago, I tried doing, I tried grilling outside and my phone overheated. Um, last week we had the California meetup, so I really didn't go live last week, uh, you know, cooking wise. Uh, even though I was all over the place in the live cooking between CJ and probably Josh and Babes and Marion's channel. Yeah, actually, if you check out uh, Robert Roy, uh, you'll see me on some of his live stream uh, cooking on Blackstone. It was, a, it was a fun experience, I'll tell you that right now. Definitely not going to be the last one, I tell you, though. Uh, wherever we meet up again, uh, it's definitely going to go down. Uh, I do plan on trying to reach out to uh, Marion Dunn and Robert Roy at least once a month. You know, just to go hang out and mess around with this Blackstone. <laughs> yeah, because you know, uh, Marion actually puts me in that mindset of, you know, that whole catering uh, idea. You know, so uh, definitely after cooking on the Blackstone, I, I, I was definitely, uh, you know, Thinking of all kinds of crazy stuff. Uh, we actually made a killer, killer uh, seafood stir fry on last Sunday. So yeah, yeah that, that's gonna be the the Blackstone video that, that we put up. Uh, it came out really good. Um, you know, like I said, it, that that Blackstone just started making me think about all kinds of crazy ideas, and that was one of them. Uh, all the ingredients I bought basically on on site at the store. Uh, <laughs> I didn't really plan it like too much, so it was just like I bought everything and just you know put it all together. All right, let's do this, my love. Uh oh, all right, Clean that in a little bit. Situate my camera here. Yeah, it's hard to get you some coffee. Got pickles up in the house. All right, so, all right, here, baby, it fell on the floor. No, it's, it's dirty. All right, so I'm gonna start off with my potatoes. Those are the most important, well, not important, those are the most, uh, Time consuming. Let's go ahead and give these a uh, peel. Is this uh, tripping over here?
Sorry, folks. I think I got technical issues with this uh, thing going over here. All right, CJ, you have a good one, bro. just my browser okay I think it's time for work to give me a new laptop <laughs> All right. now a little note on the potatoes if you cook them a little bit thinner it'll be easy they'll be faster to cook so in this case since we're gonna be just kind of like putting everything together that's basically what we want to do is uh, cut them a little bit thinner that way they can cook faster just getting all this uh, bad spot out the potato Let's see, one more, one more, Jazzy, one more. We have the last one. The last one, huh? Hey, good morning, Mike. How you doing? Mike, I'm not sure if you got my email. Um, I know we spoke about it. Uh, it's, uh, well, my email is all over my any of my videos. It's Kirby's Muscle Car at Gmail. Uh, contact me, brother. Hey, good morning, Nigel. How you doing, brother? All right, just to recap, we're doing uh, basically a country skillet uh, with some potato, eggs, sausage, and some cheese. And we're gonna make a sandwich out of it. We're gonna be putting it in a muffin. Toasted muffin. What do you think, Jazzy? You feeling uh, tomato and lettuce mm -hmm. on your on your muffin? Mm -hmm. Just for topping. Mm -hmm. We could do it for color. We can do it for texture. A little bit of texture. What happened? You want to do it for color? Mm -hmm. Now we can have that nice green and red in there. All right, we'll see what we do. We'll do it two two ways. Basically, I'm just making little squares out of this. Yes, my love. It makes purple. <laughs> Who told you that? What happens when you add heat to a cheese? Here, answer answer this. What happens when you add heat to cheese? Mm. You should know. It gets melty. Like your like your grilled cheese sandwiches daddy makes you. Or your quesadillas. Sorry. She wanted me to she wanted to come hang out with daddy today. So uh, last time I tried having them all on there, didn't work too well. Uh, <laughs> So luckily Warren just woke up. That way I can focus on my cooking. All right, I'm not sure if you were paying attention. I was having a conversation with my daughter. But yeah, you basically want to just uh, go ahead and give you some slices on your potatoes. Uh, and just go ahead and cut them into squares. This is still uh, small enough to be able to cook fast. Uh, the bigger pieces of potato course it's going to take a little bit longer but we are going to be cooking it on a cast iron uh, skillet so it will cook pretty fast and give it that nice crunch
Oh, we forgot the music, Jasmine. Bring me my work phone, babe, please. One second, folks. Got a little bit of music going on here. Thank you, my love. Oh, I haven't taken my drink of my coffee. Yeah, it's it's uh, it's not good if I don't take a swig of my coffee. Cheers, everybody. Shout out to Mr. Mega Fred. Mr. Mega Fred Zeppelin. You know, when I watch that man's videos, I get that, that cheers, everybody stuck in my head. <laughs> Him and Ray Mac. Ray Mac, because of his intro song. And, uh, yeah. So I need to make sure I'm not driving a vehicle when I watch one of Ray Mac's videos. My love. Okay, let's use a little pot. Let's just use a little pot, okay, Jasmine. All right. So basically, I'm gonna just give these a rinse, get some of that starch off of it. Even though I already gave them a rinse, but that was the outside. Now that we kind of already exposed the inner inner part of the uh, potato, I'm gonna rinse some of that sc that star starch off. Um, if you want like a crispier exterior. Go ahead and let it soak for about 30 minutes to an hour. Me, I don't have that time. I always go against <laughs> rules of processes, so um, I always just uh, rinse them off. I rinse them here, little trick. I rinse them off, I'll fill it up with water, drain it, and then I'll keep doing that until the water's clear. So that kind of gets most of the starch off, so little tip. What you think, my love? Mm -hmm. It's gonna be an awesome breakfast. Mm -hmm. Where's your mommy? I need to go that bag. Daddy. Daddy. <laughs> it's okay, baby. She's asleep. Yeah, we didn't go to sleep till like two in the morning. We watched some movies. It was a well-deserved family day or evening, I should say. Just like that, folks. Nice and clear. It's not cloudy at all. Now you do want to take all the water out. I'm not going to do it because I would just don't. <laughs> but yeah, uh, to prevent the oil from uh, splashing back at you because it's got the cold water, you know, make sure you drain it good. Uh, passion for hunting and fishing. Good morning, brother. All right, James, you have a good one. Uh, thank you for stopping by. Uh, get your butt to cook it, buddy. I know you probably got some videos planned. All right, so skill of time. Let's see. Just a tad bit. Right there. You guys see good? Alright, so those cast iron takes quite a bit to heat up. My love, what are you doing? She's not waking up. It's okay. Go take your blink. You blink a little bit. <laughs> Alright, so it's gonna take a minute for this. This cast iron is really thick, so I'm gonna let it go for just a little bit just to heat up. Uh, let me fix my camera. There you go, a little bit better. So, yeah, this one this one actually does take a while, uh, so I'm gonna just let it do its thing. I don't like putting it on high because 
then it's too hot for me to start cooking. I gotta let it cool back down, or at least go back to the temperatures I'm looking for. Uh, let's put on some music. Music today is brought to you by EZ ENT. Make sure we got all the water out. Yeah, see, so even though there's still water coming out of there. But since that's heating up, you know, it's gonna give me time to drain this out all the way. Yeah, fairly, fairly easy dish. Um, you know, you're just basically putting everything together. Um, once you've dropped the egg in there, you cover it. And let that egg start cooking. Um, so I'm basically going to start off with the potatoes. I should cook the sausages separately. <laughs> no, yeah, I'm gonna cook the sausages separately. You know, for for time's sake, I always just put everything together, make sure the sausage cooks. Uh, let me see, I got the sausage out. You know, I'll just use that one. Yeah. All right, I'll cook the sausages off off a uh, camera. I'll show you when I put it all together. Okay, we're gonna need a little bit of oil. Alright, so while that's heating up, I'm gonna have some coffee. Let me know in the comment section what's your favorite coffee. Mine, has, my, my wife is uh, She's a coffee fiend. Uh, ever since she introduced this to me, this has been my favorite coffee right here. The McCafe Breakfast Blend, her premium roast, yeah, medium. Uh, actually, this isn't the one that she usually buys. She usually buys a breakfast blend, and that's actually pretty good. Uh, I've been been in love with it since. Uh, what else we got in here? Happy Trails Hiking, good morning. We got Bobby Learns Bassin. Hello, good morning. We got Daryl from Bad Beast Barbecue. Good morning, brother. We got Smoke Keen. Good morning, Eric. Off to work I go. All right, Eric. Thank you, man. Hey, you have a great day, Eric. We got bass fishing with TK Heaven. What's up, bro? Hey, we're gonna go fishing. <laughs> hey, you know what? Maybe because I, I went live a little late. <laughs> I didn't go to bed till like two o'clock in the morning watching movies. So, uh, but uh, yeah, we definitely needed uh, some family time. So, a little late today. I mean, if people actually like the different time schedule of maybe 8 o'clock, I'll consider switching. The only reason why I thought maybe 7 is because I'm on Pacific time. So on the East Coast, it would be like 10 o'clock in the morning. So that's why I was kind of figuring maybe 7. That way it could kind of like catch people at, you know, right before they start going to do stuff. Um, so yeah, that's, uh, that's kind of, we got uh, Carolina Country cooking and barbecue good morning how you doing so I mean hey if you guys uh, if you guys think maybe 7 30 or 8 o'clock is fine with you guys uh, I, I can change my schedule that's fine <laughs> hey thanks brother yeah all right so I think we should be about ready this cast iron skillet takes quite a bit to start cooking uh, heating up Add just a little bit of salt and pepper. You know, I need to get those little uh, salt shakers. You know what? Let's add some garlic powder. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. My cabinets are like full of spices and all kinds of stuff. All 
Alright, so I have this on medium heat, but the difference with uh, using cast iron is it holds a lot more heat, so it's going to actually burn just a tad faster. Well, a little bit hotter, you, you contain more of the heat, so uh, it'll actually cook a little bit faster. Here, let's go ahead and put this right here. I'm gonna go ahead and cook these sausages off camera. Uh, I'm just gonna be cooking them in the, the pan that I had everything in. But uh, we'll be putting them in here. We got Carry On, Chef John, how you doing brother, good morning. Excuse me, excuse me. Got the pepper all up in my nose. <laughs> you, got, you heard the sizzle through the uh, Bluetooth? <laughs> Alright, get our muffins for later on. Once I get everything and start, you know, to put everything together, it's actually pretty quick. There's some more sizzle for you guys. Yeah, you know, if I was on the Blackstone, this would be a lot better because that could be, uh, <laughs> Got way more space. I'm digging that black sun though. Hey, it really, it really brought back a lot of memories. Um, as soon as I touch Marion's, it's like I never even stopped using it. Well, egg riddle, not the black sun. All right, this sausage is already well. I mean, this sausage is seasoned already. Raw meat on, on cooking food, so since I cross contaminated this one, I got another one. For the potatoes. For the taters. Alright, we're looking good on these potatoes. Once I get this all, just the potatoes are were, were pretty, pretty much almost done. I can start. I'm already starting to see where I can see through them. Um, so once this uh, pork is done, the sausage, just put it all together. Sorry, my camera's shaking because I'm pounding out the. Uh, potatoes here. Check on some comments. Just put your name in the hat. Right. Hey, what's up? Good morning, Cooking with Webby. How you doing, brother? <laughs> Get to it, Kirby. I'm hungry. <laughs> I hope you eat good, brother. <laughs> Alright, TK. Hey, be careful driving, brother. Trying to cook this uh, sausage pretty fast, so I got it on, on a medium high heat. Oh, that pepper is like all in my nose. Yeah, I need to get one of those salt shakers. <laughs> I, I actually had some and I got rid of them, but uh, Marion gave me some. Uh, Marion from Robert Roy, he gave me some. Uh, 
some Himalayan, Himalayan salt. Pink, black, and I think white. So yeah, I'm gonna have to go buy some more salt shakers so that way I can uh, start using it. Actually, plus, you know, I think it'd look cool on camera, you know, doing that whole shaking thing. Um, when we were at CJ's house, uh, he had just like a little disposable one, so I thought that was kind of cool. But I want one that I can refill. All right, now, folks, our potatoes are starting to develop that crust. That's what we want. Now, these are on medium heat, okay? I'm just letting them do their thing. Uh, the thing with potatoes is you don't want to rush them. You rush them, they probably end up not done, or they end up cooked, but they don't have that exterior exterior crunch, um, that crust. So potatoes, you just want to let them just do their thing. It's kind of like rice. You know, rice, you just got to turn it on, let it do its thing, let it cook, and then just, you know, turn it off at the right time. So you got to make sure you watch them. Uh, I don't have the heat on high. You know, I have it on medium. So it's, it's taking its time cooking it, but you know, slowly getting it done and it's, you know, providing that good crust that we're looking for. Now I'm going to make sure that my potatoes are, you know, nice golden brown before I add the uh, sausage in there because that fat's going to add more, uh, you know, basically more moisture in there. So I don't want it to take a chance where it doesn't get that nice crust. is looking good. <laughs> you know how many I got uh, pickles? <laughs> I got like, I want to say like eight that people tagged me on. And I feel bad because uh, uh, I actually did want to do it or do want to do them. Uh, but uh, it's just too hot, man. You know, it, it, that's a that's a thing that people, a lot of people don't understand. Whoa, battery! Sorry, folks. Got to plug in my laptop. There we good. Yeah, see, a lot of people don't understand that uh, it's 110 degrees outside where I live, so. Uh, you know, I do want to get those challenges done. As soon as it hits fall time, when the weather starts cooling down, I'm going to start knocking them out. Uh, one is the uh, get outside and cook challenge. There was one more thing. There was a couple other ones that I, a uh, knife one. I'm not really big on knives. This is my knife set. <laughs> this is, this is, uh, this is my knife set. This is the only knife I have. I really didn't. I didn't really have knives before that. Besides my fishing knife, uh, I just have one specific knife that I take with me to uh, go fishing. I have a fillet knife also, but yeah, that all stuff, all that stuff stays with my fishing stuff. Nice. We are looking good over here on this end, folks. In that nice golden exterior. I seen a chat. Let me see. What is it from? All right, Daryl. Hey, you have a good one, brother. Uh, have a great weekend. Thank you for stopping by. Shake it like a salt shaker. <laughs> what was I shaking? Alright, let me just show you what we got going on here. I'm gonna start incorporating the pork pretty the sausage pretty soon. See that, that, that golden brown exterior that I'm trying to get there? Alright, so the potatoes are pretty much done. Um, I'm just letting it do a thing. Uh, on the sausage, it should be almost done too.
sorry, uh, that's why I'm a little quiet. I'm getting into the cooking mode. <laughs> that's why I always say a cook mentality is because you're in the process. You're in the cooking process. So uh, whenever you see hashtag cook mentality, that's, be, that's what I'm talking about right there. You're in the cooking process. Hey, uh, thank you for stopping by, uh, Carry On Jeff John. Uh, hey, it's always a welcome to show any of my techniques. Alright, we're almost there. We're almost there. We are at the final crunch time. Let me get a big bowl. Close this up for the meantime. I'm gonna let that top lid start heating up. Now, letting this top lid get heated up will allow the eggs to cook. Uh, so I'm gonna just scramble the eggs and then put them in there, mix it up. Instead of baking it, to kind of I guess you could consider it's kind of like you know how you would bake it, but uh, this will allow you to not have to turn on the oven. Plus it, you know, I got my AC on. I don't need the oven on. <laughs> Let me see, I'm looking at it roughly about eight eggs. Yeah, I think I'll put eight eggs. I think I'll be safe for that. Shout out to Marion uh, from down at Robert Roy. Uh, the next couple of weeks in my live streams, I was actually going to do it today, but uh, things came up. I didn't get to go buy all the ingredients. Next week, I'm going to actually dedicate that dish and that live stream to Marion. Uh, you know, thank you for giving me the, uh, the the fire to burn. Let's see, what did you put on your potatoes besides salt and pepper? Uh, just garlic powder, Tina. Um, I'm, I'm a big fan of that garlicky flavor in uh, breakfast potatoes. Uh, let me turn this down a little bit. Um, yeah, so just uh, salt, pepper, and garlic powder. That's how I season my potatoes. Um, you can leave the garlic out. Uh, let me see, I need my whisk. And then just uh, oil, your, your favorite oil, the oil that you use to cook them with. Just gonna give this a quick whisk. A couple of yolks. Actually, we're gonna do this two ways. Yeah, good idea. We're gonna do this two ways. I'm gonna make a sandwich and then I would, I'm gonna show you how you would make it if you put it on a plate. All right. Give this a quick stir really quick. Oh yeah. See that cast iron is already making that, that pork. Uh, crust up. Alright. Go ahead and pour in your eggs. Nice and evenly. and turn the heat off. I'm gonna let that heat from the cast iron just let it cook. 
So we're gonna let that sit for about five minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and check on it. Go ahead and flip my cutting board over. Uh, we are going to prep some chives. Now the chives are gonna be for what we put on the plate. It's just for garnishing. Uh, that way it adds a little bit of color. Plus it looks prettier. You know, people eat by seeing, smelling, and tasting. So if you see a plate that doesn't look delicious, you know, you're not gonna be too enticed on it. So that's why, you know, you wanna add some color to it, make it look a little bit prettier. And then that way, you know, when you bite into it and you smell it, you get everything all of the above. Oh, that that for me pickles uh, if you're asking me if the kids like spicy no unfortunately so here's a, when, when it comes to spicy foods that's why I make that's why I make a lot of salsa and I buy a lot of hot sauces and stuff like that is because my kids don't uh, they don't like the spicy food so what I'll do is I'll make my food without the spices and uh, I'll just add it on my plate so yeah, just something you gotta just get used to. Alright, just cutting up some chives here. Some green onion. Alright. Go ahead and put this in the bowl over here to the side. What do you guys think? Uh, lettuce and tomato in the in the muffin sandwich. I'll take you guys' the suggestions. Hey, this will be a this will be a a viewer request. Uh, if you guys want to see tomato and lettuce in there, go ahead and put yes. Just the plain Jane muffin with um, no filling. Just go ahead and put no. I'll give you guys a second on that one. Put these away. Yeah, you're lucky, pickles. <laughs> My kids don't like spicy. All right, it's been a couple minutes. Let's check on how, on our eggs. All right, all right, just a little bit more. Just let that heat do its thing. You know that skillet is hot. I'll actually put it on low. No tomatoes. Okay, so we got tomato for sure. We got two versus one. <laughs> All right, let me see. Let me do both. Let's do both, okay? I got two muffins here. I got two muffins here. I can make two sandwiches. And I'm gonna show you the plated version so that way you get all everything. Let me just slice up a couple, couple slices of tomato. Nice and thin. Nice and thin. You know, you don't want it too thick. You gotta make sure you even out your knife too, so that way you get that straight cut. But since you know I cut the first one, it's a little. But the second one should be very close to perfect. Okay. Alright, so we got our tomatoes. Let's do some. A little bit of romaine lettuce. Yeah, for sandwiches, green leaf lettuce or romaine lettuce are my favorite lettuces to use for sandwiches or burgers. Um, just provides that that pretty it's more it's more greener than iceberg. Iceberg it's uh it's more common, but it, it's just not as green, you know. As, as romaine or that, that green or butter leaf butter leaf that's what it is see because I could take this you know this is nice and green you know take it off with this little spine right here and then that way when I put it 
I can mold it around the the hamburger or the sandwich that I'm looking for, you know, to put it top it with, a lot easier. And so that way, I can actually cut like a little slit here. And that way you make a perfect circle. So that way when you, I always do, what I always do is I always put like the mayonnaise or whatever sauce on the top bun. So that way it allows it to stick. So it kind of like cuffs it. And so that way we just put it on the top of the burger. So little tip, put a little slit like that in your, your lettuce, allow you to fold it. So I, you could actually do two, one on each side. See, kind of like same like this one. Gets better presentation. Little trick I learned working in a restaurant. <laughs> I can eat both. Hey, we're gonna make both today. Alright. Almost done, folks. Almost done. Alright, for the final part. Final part of the eggs. We're gonna top it with some cheese. Still need a little bit of cooking on the top. You gotta love cheese. You gotta love cheese. I'm a big cheese fan. I buy Monterey Jack cheese by, what is it, a five pound block? <laughs> I go through a lot of cheese in this house. Now we're gonna add in our chives for garnishing. Just give that presentation. All right, so now we're gonna just go ahead and cover it back up, let it do its thing. Um, I had to turn back on the uh, stove. I guess I didn't have my cast iron skillet on uh, high enough. Well, obviously not high enough because I can still touch the handle. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and toast up some muffins. muffins is all I'm using. Nothing special. I never even heard of this uh, cobblestone. Never heard of this brand. Just picked it up. You guys are quiet today. <laughs> Alright, we're almost done. Just give us a couple more minutes on the uh, the eggs. Finish up these muffins, and I'm, uh, I'm gonna show you how to do this three different ways. And after that, it's a wrap. It's a wrap. So. Hey, so uh, TK, uh, what's your? Have, have you been fishing at all? I've been actually wanting to go fishing. Garlic, yeah. Yeah, I've been wanting. Uh, I've been wanting to go to San Diego. Well, I don't know. The weather's kind of like weird here, so it's kind of like it, it goes hot, and then all of a sudden it'll just got have, have like a cool day. Um, I don't know, I'm gonna see how tomorrow looks. I know it's supposed to be like 108 to 109 uh, throughout the weekend. But uh, yeah, I definitely wanna, I've been wanting to take my boat out. Uh, I haven't been able to use my boat in a while, so. Almost there, folks, almost there. Look at the goodness. 
Look at the goodness. So basically, I'm just waiting for that top to just heat up for me, okay? Alright, there's some muffins. Muffin number one. Yeah, so uh, TK, I was actually thinking about um, Lake Jennings. I've been, to, I've been to Lake Jennings before. I was there out there last year. Um, I didn't really get to do a whole lot of fishing. So I had my kids. But this year, I want to take my boat. No coffee? Oh no. Alright. Kind of prep this. Uh, let me see, what could we put on this uh, muffin sandwich? Ketchup? Oh, a little bit of ketchup. A little bit of ketchup. I need to get the other ketchup out. Just as always, you gotta build your layers of flavors, okay? to Mundo. Let's see, that's about that side. It'll go about right there. Yeah, folks. Get a shot of that. Sandwich number one. All right, I'm gonna show you guys all of this right now. So uh, let's go ahead and hit the second one with a little bit of ketchup. Good morning, Easy Bake Barbecue. How you doing, brother? Now you can tell I'm actually working. I'm actually starting to sweat. Ain't nothing like sweat in the actual restaurant kitchen, though. <laughs> Tell you what, those are some some memorable days. Let's make a nice nice square here. All right, we are almost done, y'all. All Ooh, nice and cheesy. That's just running. All right, here it goes, folks. Let me get all this nonsense out of the way. How I can bring you in. Now this, 
This is where the love's at, y'all. Okay, I'm gonna snag this little piece of straggling pork here. Yeah. Let me go to my other program, huh? Like Marion said, this is gonna make you subscribe right here. <laughs> What y'all think? So you can have this on a plate, just like this right here, with that ooey goozy cheese right there, or you can have it in a sandwich. So um, this is a country skillet, and it holds up very well, as you can see right there. I got an in, in a muffin. Yeah. Well, this lighting doesn't do me justice. <laughs> it's too light. Let me. So yeah, final product right there, country skillet. So uh, very easy to make. Uh, you can actually, if you want to avoid my technique of using the cast iron, you can actually just put it in the oven, bake it for about not even 10 minutes. Uh, I want to say maybe eight, eight minutes at 350, just to give that top part, um, you know, a good, because the bottoms are already going to be hot if you're cooking in the cast iron skillet. So basically that heat's just going to help cook that top part too, so it'll kind of like even out. Um, let it cook for like maybe five minutes, add your cheese on there, and then finish up the rest of the bake. But uh, like I said, this way, didn't ha I didn't have to turn on my oven. It is, it does get hot in here when I do so, so yeah, I didn't want to be fighting with that. See, I'm already, hour time, and I'm already starting to be sweaty, so if I would have had the oven on, it would have been a lot harder, uh, hotter. So, uh, uh, definitely give us a try. I hope you guys like it. Uh, if you haven't done so and you're, and you're in the chat right now, hit that like button. Uh, let me know what you guys think uh, of this beautiful dish. Yeah, you know what? That doesn't do justice. Here, let's go into the light. Let that auto focus. There we go. So yeah, this one has no tomato and onion or lettuce, and this one's the one with the tomato and lettuce. Just adding layer of flavor. That's all it is. Yeah. All right, y'all. Awesome Saturday live stream. I'm glad to be back. Uh, no more shenanigans with afternoon and stuff like that. Uh, I'm definitely gonna keep my morning live stream. Um, I just, I don't know, uh, trying to grill. I'll keep grilling videos on a video and not the live stream. So uh, depending if I get a Blackstone or not, um, it will depend if I'm going to be in the kitchen or outside. Uh, but definitely morning, morning stream from now on only. And uh, I want to thank you all for stopping in. You know, I, I really appreciate the love. And I think, you know, I love making these recipes for you guys. And it just, you know... Just keep me driving. So next weekend, Saturday morning at 7 a.m. Uh, hopefully I don't come home late from work uh, next Friday. I don't think I should because we ain't got nothing, nothing going on. Um, so yeah, 7 in the morning. You know, if you guys feel uh, maybe later of a time, let me know. But uh, if, if nothing said by then, I'll be here at 7 in the morning next Saturday morning. Uh, so you guys have a great weekend. Be safe. And as always, be beautiful. Peace.